The Galaxy 6 watch can measure blood pressure. Now some people are saying that it's not accurate at all and it's garbage. And today I want to do a quick test to measure the effectiveness of blood pressure monitoring on the Galaxy 6 watch. But I'm not going to test it against a medical grade blood pressure monitoring device because I've already done that test before. Watch this video right here. I was in the hospital and I tested it against a medical grade blood pressure monitoring device in the hospital. Today, I'm gonna to do a different type of test. I'm gonna go and measure my blood pressure before and after a workout. Now, as you may already know, when you work out, and if, especially if it's an intensive workout, if it's strenuous, your blood pressure increases after the workout or even during the workout. So I'm gonna take a blood pressure reading before and after a workout and see if this is it truly effective in measuring blood pressure. If it does not show that my blood pressure increased significantly after the workout, it means it's truly garbage because blood pressure increases after a workout. Usually, most of the time increases. Tap to measure the blood pressure. So measure where your watch snugly away from the wrist bone. So this is the wrist bone. Make sure that it's a bit away from your wrist bone and on the same wrist you wore it on during the calibration. So when you calibrate the watch, make sure it's on, it's on the same wrist. Also relax your hands and arms. Now remember that the results displayed are not a complete diagnosis of any medical conditions. So do not interpret or take any clinical action based on Samsung Health Monitor measurements without first consulting a qualified healthcare professional. Okay, let's go. So my blood pressure reading right now is 114 over 75, systolic is 114, diastolic is 75, and my heart rate is 77 beats per minute. So I'm going to do a quick boxing workout to test the blood pressure functionality on the Galaxy 6 watch. Let's go. You can see my heart rate right now is 87. Let's go. Do a little bit of shoe shine. This is surely going to get my heart rate up pretty fast. My heart rate is 108 right now. I'm gonna further increase it. Let me turn on the boxing mode, boxing activity. So boxing right here, turn that on. Right now my heart rate is 161. That's zone four. Let's go to zone five. Hundred and sixty seven, hundred and seventy. That's zone five. That's the hardest zone. It's pretty hard. Hundred and seventy three. Okay. It's pretty good. Let's quickly measure my blood pressure right now. As you can see, I'm still panting. Let's measure. My blood pressure should increase right now. There you go. Blood pressure is 134 over 70, which is completely normal after a workout. So there you go, guys. The watch is doing its job properly. It's pretty good, it's pretty reliable. It may not be as reliable as a medical grade instrument, but at least it tells you if you have a problem. And I believe it's one of the best solutions to quickly and efficiently monitor your blood pressure. And at least it will let you know if you have any problems so you can go check them out with your doctor. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.